Ellis James and John Robbins. Radio X. I've had a big, big week. My car passed its MOT and then I had my hair cut badly. But it's been a bigger week for John Robbins because obviously John's moved house. So he's making, he's not making a house, he's making a home. It's true. I'm doing my absolute up, utmost to do that. He's nesting. Yeah, but nesting, uh, it turns out, is a terribly stressful experience if you are Robbins. Okay. Because it's sort of my... For a Robin. <laughs> <laughs> it's my worst nightmare, like admin potentially going astray. Hmm. So there's obviously all the usual stuff about changing addresses and yeah. haven't got any furniture in order to access the addresses. You need the furniture to clear up the mess and that yeah. kind of vibe. So, uh, my girlfriend's been away. It was fun, but a bit lonely. Okay. Sat on the floor eating beans on toast with your mind. Um, <laughs> whizzing around. Cross-legged? Until my hips hurt so much that I had to sort of sort of l lounge on my elbow. <laughs> like in a ch chaise lounge. Yeah, but then it's quite hard to hard to eat beans on toast. <laughs> so I, I was sort of sorting through stuff. I thought, right, right. I'm going to Ikea to get Billy... Get a double billy. Because <laughs> my girlfriend's got about 10,000 books. Okay. So, and that's not an overstatement. No, it isn't. Um, I've been to, I went to your old flat. She has 10,000 books. And um, so I thought, I said to her, I'm going to get double billy. Because you can get these books, just the basic billy bookcase. But there's a double one in the, in the uh, thing. So I went to Ikea in Wembley. Okay. And it's only a half hour drive from, All right. from where we are. So I thought, it's not too bad. Just go in, get it, get out, you'll be fine. Yeah. Measured up the doors to check that Billy would get in. <laughs> Measured up the Fabia to check that Billy would slide betwixt headrest. <laughs> and um, so I thought, fine. So then I got to Ikea and thought, yeah, but you're Ikea now. You might as well get more than double Billy. Mm. So I got double Billy in the Dobbler, which is just like a thing with holes in it. That's well, a name I've given it. All right, it's well, like a QB Dobbler. What's that for? What are you going to keep I in don't know. Like spices. Just get stuff off the floor. All right, then. And then we need two chests of drawers because of the clothing clothes gate of course um so i got a chest of drawers do you want to explain well. clothes gate it's just my girlfriend's got a lot of clothes and you haven't so i've got 10 queen t-shirts two <laughs> pairs of jeans and a pair of trainers how <laughs> difficult is that <laughs> um which you wear for weddings job interviews <laughs> funerals yeah. in fairness to her she was ruthless uh, sorting stuff yeah. out uh, if you're looking for um upmarket female clothes that have featured on some of the UK's top comedy programmes. <laughs> the charity shops of Lewisham right now are bursting. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, so, what would you wear, like, if 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 your girlfriend got nominated for a BAFTA, would you, what, which Queen t-shirt out of interest would you uh, wear? The classy that? one, just Mercury silhouette, okay. with a, probably a suit jacket. <laughs> um, so I thought, I'd just go to Ikea and sort it out. Yeah. And I got to Ikea, and then choosing a... Because my girlfriend wasn't there to sort of help me decide. Mm. Choosing a chest of drawers became an anxiety yes. fest. Your Everest. Yeah, so I was texting at photos and going, what about this one, what about that one? So I eventually got out the... And I actually quite like Ikea. I loathe it. Do you? I hate it. I don't will do it. anything to avoid going. Because just, I Just always, know your shortcuts. Yeah, I just always have a bad time there. Uh, and then I got to the bit where you collect all the boxes and I loaded up the um, the little trolley <coughs> and then I thought, this isn't all going to fit in the fab just by double billy. And also, incidentally, I'd been going round in my head saying double billy is like a mantra and I ended up asking one of the people, where's double billy? <laughs> uh, and he said, what, do you, what are you talking about? And I went, double bit like the, sorry, the billy bookcase, so there's a double billy. There's a double one. And he went, no, that's just two single ones. Oh, right, okay. Shattering my double billy right, dream. I have two single billies. <laughs> yeah, two, two single billies. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I got them all on the thing. And then as I was pushing it towards the checkout, I started to panic that I wasn't going to be able to fit it in the car, that I'd picked the wrong chest of drawers, and it was all a bit too much, so I just left my trolley at the till and walked into the car park and drove home. <laughs> but I was in such a state that Tears? I... Tears? No, well, yes, there were, oh, but um, not yet. Because oh, okay. I got into the, my car, and I thought, God, John, you're an idiot. Why are you just incompetent at absolutely You're not an idiot, you're everything. incompetent. Okay. You're not an idiot. But I'm usually very competent. Anyway, it just all got a bit much, so I thought, just go home and order them online and deal yeah. with it. So I navigated back home on my sat-nav, but I hadn't updated home on my sat-nav. <laughs> <laughs> so... I navigated, and it's, it was 17 miles, and that's the same distance as it is. Oh. And it said an hour and a half, and I thought, oh, sodding hell, it only took half an hour to get here. Is the traffic really that bad? And it was rush hour. Oh. 
So I'm driving in heavy traffic for about 20 minutes thinking, this doesn't look right. <laughs> there shouldn't be this much traffic. I'm only going out to the M11. And then I checked my sat-nav and I'd driven halfway to Lewisham oh. in the exact opposite direction. Yeah, because you and live north of London and yes. Lewisham is in south-east London. And I punched my steering wheel and I called myself some horrible words <laughs> and, and tears. <laughs> no, I didn't like sob, but it was just like that. What? Like I wo- get for a sporting montage, but a sad version. Yes. And oh. it was. I was like shouting, you coin Watch you it. absolute coin <laughs> you are such a why are you such a flipping coin robins i hate being you why is it always you when i wake up navigating the wrong thing <laughs> and the stupid thing is i was using a navigation <laughs> thing and i can't work out how to reset home i tried to oh. do it a number of times ways if you're listening oh. adverts on it as well every time your car slows down Oh. Which is irresponsible, and it tells you that there are police hidden. If the police are hidden ways, they're hidden for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make the road safer, and you're there warning all the idiots. Oh, it was the worst. It was the worst. You haven't even got a billy. I haven't got any billies, and then now billy, double billy's coming on Friday, so I've got to <laughs> sit in the house all day on the floor eating Cross beans legged. waiting for billy. <laughs> The guy's going to knock on the door, and I bet they're late, or the, the they'll email me a convenient 20-hour window. Yeah. <sighs> oh. And then I'm going to have to erect Billy. <laughs> but that's the bit I'm looking forward to, just getting Billy set up, getting the dobbler in place, getting some stuff <laughs> off the floor, getting a table. Oh, I mean, it sounds good, mate. That said, wonderful views. Yeah, can't wait to come round. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Oh, all right. You look tired. Uh, I had a big, big day yesterday. Oh, yeah? Ikea day. Oh, again? No, well, no, the delivery arrived. Oh, right, so. Double so Billy. So you had a big day and then you <laughs> sat in the house waiting for Double Billy. I sat in the house waiting for Double Billy, went to the cafe for lunch, but that was stressful because I was worried the delivery would come, even though I'd been told they'd ring an hour in advance, so I put my mobile phone number on the door, which I was then made me worried about security. Yeah. Because uh, someone could text me that my house is an idiot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> or, or like those, like a like a cheeky sort of art thief. They could text you to say, you know, thanks for the telly, mate. We've just robbed your house. Remember when people stole Edward Munch's The Scream and they left a post-it note by where the painting was and they just said, thanks for the lack of security. Oh yeah. Thieves. Luckily, my sort of main security uh, um, backup is the fact that I have nothing worth stealing. Interesting one. So yeah. I often imagine a, a robber in my house. Yeah, going, sort of. <sighs> How are we going to get puffing out his cheeks? Books? How are we going to get double billies in the back of the van? <laughs> I, I, I never, hands, hands on hips, going pointless. I don't own anything of value in the house. Farthings? They're not. I don't keep them at my home address. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I wasn't born yesterday. Uh, your Brian May guitar? Not at the house, mate. Right. So where is all this? Oh, oh you're supposed to can't say. It's in a lockup. Um. I had to adapt the double billies. Oh, did you? Because I hadn't accounted for the skirting board. Oh. So I, I finally used my... Uh, Tail as old as time. So I had to use my saw that I'd used for uh, bushcraft. Oh, yeah. First time I've used it post-bushcraft to saw off little bits for the skirting. Then I cut my finger oh. on the saw. Oh. So I then got to use my uh, bushcraft first aid <laughs> kit, which I hadn't used. So oh, sort of excellent. All uh, if any any sort of casual listeners, uh, John's double billy is a reference to the bookcase he's bought. Bookcases. Yes. Bookcases. He bought in IKEA last week to house his girlfriend's books. Double billy, then the klaxon or whatever it is, the dobbler, and then uh, a chest of drawers. What's the what's the the klaxon? You haven't cu- got one of those in your house. Have in you? No, it's a cube. <laughs> but it's a, it's a cube-based storage system which doesn't fit in any room. Sounds horrible. It's awful. <laughs> and then a chest of drawers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. And I had a headache all the throughout the whole day because I'd noticed uh, evidence of woodworm on a beam in the bathroom. So I went to the hardware shop and bought woodworm treatment, but I used too much and, and didn't wear a mask, so I inhaled too many fumes. It is one thing after another, <laughs> isn't it, John?